Catholic liberal education is not something other. It's really the fullest form of how the church understands human formation. The formation that someone receives in the first few decades of their life, it, it determines their whole life after that. The whole trajectory of our civilization, where it's headed, whether it's in a good direction or a bad direction, is based on how they're educated. Catholic liberal education is a freeing education. We look back at the Catholic intellectual tradition we look back at the whole formation of the tradition of education of children. It's all about liberty. It's all about heaven. And so we get to educate them for that. And what a great gift for us as Catholic educators. The Catholic classical approach derives right from the heart of the church's tradition. You know, it's the church that founded the university system. It's the Catholic church that started uh, the formal education process. The purpose is to pursue the truth and to come to know the great world that God has created, to come to know human beings better so that we can serve human beings better and bring them to flourishing in Christ. Christ is the Logos in whom all things cohere. And that's what Catholic education should be. It's faith-seeking understanding. It's an entirely different approach, philosophy, and you know we have different beliefs, we have different goals. So therefore, of course, our approach should be different. Our content should be different. Not just what we teach, but the way we teach because we see a higher purpose and a deeper meaning in all of these things. This is an engaging adventure for, for them um, because they're learning in a way that's consistent with their nature and their development. Um, much of the frustration and tension that we typically associate with school really isn't present. It really fills the teachers with this sense of wonder. I mean, we're continuously amazed by how much more there is. Whoa, I didn't even know that. And, and then that excitement just overflows to the kids. I would say one of the things that I notice is the moment they hear something new, just in their mind, it triggers like six other references to other things. All these classes from math, science, history, even like language and literature, they're not necessarily separate subjects, but they're all about like the human story and the human experience. Reclaiming the integrity of what a Catholic school ought to be, which is what we are trying to do here, is what will bring back the Catholics who for many years have said it's not worth it. Positive attributes are a love for learning, a love for God, and an enjoyment of the school experience. Mm -hmm. My husband is a you know, cradle Catholic. I'm an adult convert. But until our children started attending school at St. Jerome's, we were not particularly faithful about church attendance. And it's what our kids started bringing home in their curriculum and what they were talking about, and what they were learning, that we realized we had this tremendous responsibility to be thoughtful about our faith lives as well as the children that we were raising. And so we certainly didn't expect this to be a transformative experience for us as you know adults who had it all figured out. But what our children learned ended up really teaching us. They teach us in such a clear and organized way, so we get to learn a lot and they teach us to delve deeper into things and find the true meanings of everything and they'll let us do work on our own so we can find it by ourselves when we grow up. For the last 10 years, the Institute for Catholic Liberal Education has really honed this understanding of the difference between secular progressive education and what the church developed for hundreds of years. We're really poised now to meet the demand for a growing number of parents and educators and priests and bishops who see that the new evangelization needs new legs. What I got so much out of this is to learn about how people think and how to foster learning in our, in our students, which will greatly help me as a priest forming disciples and taking those same principles uh, in that context. One of the things that I really appreciate about the Institute and its work is that they're simply present to provide materials and insight and formation where there's a really desperate need for it. There is um, a follow through during the year that you can call and ask questions and you've met these people and they're willing to help you which just seems um, crazy that you have access to that kind of you know talent, knowledge, experience in education, in Catholic liberal education to guide you forward. We are going to open a school in September. That would not have happened without the ICLE conference providing inspiration, 
practical know-how. So obviously we had to come back this year. It's very exciting because you're on the ground floor of something that's going to have an impact and it's going to grow. It can't not grow because it works. I think that the entire approach to education in the classroom is predicated on the beliefs that teachers cannot teach. They don't know how to teach, we can't trust them, we have to make them accountable. And that destroys teaching as it re is really meant to be and it breaks the hearts of teachers. We've been able to free teachers and allow them to do what their heart really wants to do and then provide them with the, the confidence that they have to reinvent education. We believe that this renewal of authentic Catholic education can change the world because it restores to this culture the fact that truth exists, that it can be known, and that it rests in Jesus Christ, and that we can order our lives and our loves in that way. There's just no way to measure the gifts that the Holy Spirit will bestow on any place that is willing to make Christ the center of their school. From the beginning, I thought, it's not where my kids go to college. It's whether they're faithful to their vocation when they're 40 years old. Now I've got my graduates in their 30s, right? Hitting 40, have families, and they're faithful to their vocations. They're faithful to their faith, and they're raising their children that way. And it's a beautiful thing. We're now getting the second generation to my own school here. It's absolutely beautiful.